Welcome back to San Diego Market Movers. I'm your host, Jason Yoss. I'm here with Miguel Nunez. Miguel, good to see you. Hey, Jason. Good to see you again. So Miguel and I were talking about the real estate industry as a whole backstage. And one of the main things that we were talking about in today's market is how do you sell your home and how do you price it appropriately to sell? So Miguel, mm -hmm. talk to me a little bit about how you coach your client through this process. So there are two theories out there. Uh, there's a, the group of people who want you to price the home uh, higher because they believe that their house is the best house out there. Uh, and sometimes they're right, sometimes they're not. So they say, well, let's put it at this price and then let's see what happens. In this market, I recommend against that approach because in this market, if it's priced a little higher and it, a week goes by, two weeks go by, and we don't have an offer, then it becomes a little bit of a tainted property. In this market, you can't be more than two, three, four weeks without an offer. That's telling the market something's wrong with this house. What, what we recommend is, okay, let's look, at the, let's look at the property. Let's look at five comps. And out of these five comps, let's see which ones are worse than yours and which ones are better than yours. And we do, the, oh, these two are better, these two are worse, and you are right here. So what is the next best strategy to sell your house? Well, let's have traffic. So the key is to generate traffic to the house. If people don't go to a car dealership to see the car that was advertised, only one at this price, if they don't get that at the dealership, they're never gonna see the bright, shiny sports car sitting in the showroom, which is the one they're gonna end up driving out with, right? It's exactly the same procedure. It's about, our job is to create traffic, to look, come look at the property, and people will probably even realize, oh, I had no idea that I liked purple carpet. Until now, it, it, it goes very well. And all of a sudden, uh, we go from there. Now, one thing that I tell our clients, what if, it says, well, well, if we put a, so I recommend that range. Well, we have a range because these are the houses that are worse and these are houses best. You're in the middle, okay, let's create a range. So the sellers, well, everybody's gonna offer on the lower side of the range. And I said, perfect. What do you mean perfect? Because we want a, a low ball offer first. I don't care if somebody comes in and offers me half of the price. Well, I'm not gonna accept that, that's an insult. To, Let's take it easy. Let's take that offer. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to present it to you, which I have to do by law, but I'm going to keep it. Guess what's the next thing that the next realtor who saw the house is going to ask me? Do, do you, have, you any have any offers? Right. And I'm going to say, yes, I do. Well, how is it? I'll tell them I'd be doing a disservice to my client if I tell you what that amount is, but you better sharpen your pencil. And the next one, well, how many offers? Well, I have two now. So that first offer is the trigger. Uh, and at one point, what we, we, we transfer from selling a, a specific square footage and bedrooms and this, now it becomes an emotional because now they're fighting for it. And that's, that's where we have an emotional, we have emotional buyers, we get higher than normal price. That strategy is amazing. And I was going to ask you if you use specific metric like square footage or bedroom and bath, but the way you described <laughs> how you're generating offers, your listing price suggestion is to create offers and demand. Mm -hmm. That's a huge thing for our audience to understand. Yeah. Um, and using the car dealership analogy. <laughs> <laughs> or, or if you wanna go to the other side spectrum, that's how Christie sells diamonds or Celebes. The diamonds, I mean, do you really think that that rock is worth the, the amount that it is? No, it's an emotional, okay, what do you get when you buy this? Uh, you, know, you get more love, you get you know, all kinds of things. Here in the house, well, number one, you beat the other good people, then you have bragging rights and, and so on. So uh, yeah, our job is to get uh, emotional juices running to get a better price for our seller. Great feedback, Miguel. That is why mm -hmm. he's a top agent in our industry. Uh, thanks so much for being here. Thanks so much for that great insight on strategy. Everyone else, make sure you tune in next week. Mm -hmm.